Welcome back, friends. We are here in Houston for NACAC 2022. I am not getting sick of saying that because it is so good to be back in person, seeing people's faces, being close, giving hugs and shaking hands. And I am happy to introduce from EAB, Joe Morrison, Jonathan April. It's nice to see you guys in person. And I know that we have a first timer and a more seasoned conference goer here with NACAC. Tell me what it's been like for you to be here for the first time at the conference. Well, it's fantastic. I mean, this conference is the center of the universe for university admissions. And it's the first one, yeah, it's the first one I've been to. I think it's fantastic. What kind of energy are you feeling in the room? Yeah, I'm loving actually seeing new vendors out there, catching up with old colleagues. Uh, new colleagues like Jonathan, who I've been working with for a long time, but we don't get to spend much time in person together. <laughs> um, it's awesome. And Jonathan, I know you've had a couple of years being in the conference with NACAC. What is the difference you feel this year compared to, say, years previously? This is my ninth conference, and so it's amazing uh, to be back in person. I think that's probably the big thing is that people are excited to be back in person. People are tired of being on Zoom calls all the time. It's nice to see people and talk to them and uh, yeah, be able to give hugs. And what are you all really excited about sharing with other people in this networking opportunity over the next couple of days? Well, one thing that's really exciting is you know, I've built the company Concourse over the last several years. And yesterday we became part of EAB, so we've just been acquired. Oh, yesterday, and, yesterday. Yeah. So this is breaking news. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. congratulations. <laughs> the ink is still drying. <laughs> Um, no, so that's part of our excitement, and the timing is just fantastic. To not only like have this amazing partnership, which we've been working together with EAB for a long time, but now we're one company, just as NACAC is starting, so we can come here and like meet up with the EAB colleagues and with our university colleagues. Um, it's great. That's so exciting. What, what perfect timing, really, when it comes down to it. And what are some of the things that you're able to take advantage of being part of NACAC and being able to be here on during such an exciting time. At, at, at College Greenlight, the organization that I that I run, um, our world is connecting college access professionals and college admissions professionals. So it's amazing to be in a space where there are CBOs, there's high school counselors, there's college admissions professionals. Fresh professionals. This is really the community that we're looking to foster. And so I, every year, NACAC is a highlight for me because everybody is here, and you get the you get the opportunity to talk to everyone that you would want to connect with. What do you think some of the biggest takeaways have been from previous conferences that you're able to take back home, take back to your community, and then really apply firsthand? Um, every year in NACAC, I meet uh, amazing new partners. So again, we bring together college access and higher ed. And so every year we meet new CBOs, we meet new high school counselors, we meet new colleges, we become partners. I think the partnership is the big, is the big takeaway. I love that. Yeah, we just gave a presentation together right before this. Yes. And yeah, we met a whole bunch of them, new university partners and CBOs who are interested in what we're doing together. Um, everybody's here in Houston. And, and really being in person and being able to, to have that connection, I have to imagine it's easier to, to create like real moments and have those memorable interactions that you will then, oh, I remember meeting Jonathan, I want to circle back or touch base. And it, there's something different with that than I sent an email, maybe, you know, sent like a, an AOL chat, I sound a thousand. You know what I mean. Something like that. Like there's, there's definitely an advantage to creating these moments in person, I have to imagine. Oh, I think so. I think once in a while you have to get together in person just to create relationships and strengthen relationships. You can only do so much over Zoom. Um, uh, we have a transformative service that we launch in, in partnership, uh, Greenlight Match, which is a flipped college admissions model to reduce barriers in the college application process. And there's really no better space for us to be launching the expansion of the program than an NACAC. I love that. And everyone is just so happy and excited to be here. And what a great audience that you have to, to share your news. Absolutely. And I... I feel like I have to add a shout out to, sure. to the yeah. NACAC CEO, Angel Perez, who I'm just a giant fan of, um, who actually has been calling for university admissions to be simplified for forever. And so we're working together on doing that. And so coming here and presenting here and meeting our partners here to present our work, um, it's just, this is the place. 
Yeah, really. A Angel's been instrumental in making so much of this happen, so much of this possible. And I was, I was just sharing with you when I spoke to him earlier. He, he mentioned really just wanting to bring people joy, and that is at the heart of this, and bringing people together. And that's exactly what we are seeing happen in real life. That's what he does. Yeah. It's amazing. Congratulations on your deal. Just hours in the making. Mm -hmm. So happy to be able to congratulate you in person, and just share your news with everybody. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you for having us. It's been fun. Yeah, thank it's you. been super fun. Yeah. Thank you, everybody. Okay. That was wonderful. Okay. Thank you.